Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, we are considering another important and integral topic of memory which is attached to microprocessor Intel's 8086 and 8088, right? So, uh, we have already discussed that there is one megabyte memory and the minimum address is 00, zero hertz and the maximum address is 55 five, five hertz. And we have also discussed that there has been a segmentation concept which we have already introduced uh, in this video series, right? But still, there is one thing, uh, one classification of memory which is still remaining. So we are going to discuss uh, that classification of memory in this video tutorial, right? So memory is classified uh, in between uh, these various uh, categories, right? Uh, you can see that dedicated, then reserve portion is there. Then there is an open space and we're going to discuss what is this open space and then there is a dedicated portion and then there is again reserve right so dedicated reserve open dedicated and reserve what are these we are going to discuss it right so we know that memory addresses start from zero hertz and it goes to uh, five, uh, five times f hertz right so if we start from zero and goes to one three so zero to one three is basically a dedicated memory and then one four hacks to seven four seven f hacks then it is reserved memory right and why these are reserved and why these are dedicated we will uh, understand it in a while right so the these are how many bytes first of all zero hacks to seven f hacks uh, we have already covered a series of tick 18 f microcontrollers and we have discussed this thing so if you remember zero f zero to seven f uh, you can convert that these range uh, how many locations 7f minus 0 and plus 1 because of 0 right so you will find out that these are basically 128 bytes i've just converted into decimal right and uh, you, that's that's how i'm going to show you uh, 7f minus 00 plus 1 it becomes what 80 and if you convert it into decimal it becomes 128 decimal so that these are what these are how many bytes these are uh, 128 bytes and these are divided into two portions 0 to 7f these are divided into two portion dedicated and reserved okay let's uh, cover the dedicated portion so dedicated part is used to store the pointers for internal interrupts and exceptions right uh, we have already covered a video series of uh, pick 18f microcontroller in this in that series we have discussed the concept of interrupt service routines so remember uh, interrupt service whenever uh, 86 or 88 microprocessors have also concept of interrupt service routine so store those pointers i mean uh, you know that there are some pointers or interrupt vector table and we need some space to store those pointers right so to store the pointers of internal interrupt right the portion is dedicated right the concept is same like uh, in, a, in a restaurant uh, you may reserve the table and you may dedicate the table dedicated means uh, it won't be used for any other person, but reserve means you can reserve that place, right? So first dedicated portion is po dedicated for only internal interrupts pointers, right? So whatever the internal interrupt pointers, it could be restart vector, it could be uh, power on self test, it could be another things, right? But these are internal interrupt service routines, and whenever uh, where uh, where these pointers are stored, these pointers are stored in dedicated portion. Then okay if i want to calculate the how many bytes in dedicated portion it's quite simple same procedure one three hacks minus zero zero plus one due to zero then it becomes one four hacks and you know that one four hacks means 20 decimal and you know that uh, 20 bytes are dedicated for interrupt pointers because this is dedicated portion if i am going to ask you how many pointer it's quite easy because you know that pointer means how many bytes? Four bytes or four location. So we are considering 20 bytes. So it will be five pointers. So there are five different internal interrupts pointers are stored in this dedicated portion. Okay. I hope you have understood the concept of dedicated uh, memory over here. And let's go to the reserve part. Reserve part starts from one four hacks and goes to what seven F hacks. So it is used for user defined interrupts we have already covered in pkd app that user may also define some interrupt service routines so if in, in interrupt service routines are not internal but rather they are defined by the programmer so where you will store the pointers for them you will store them in this area one four hacks to seven f hacks 
how many bytes again the same question we will perform the same uh, uh, same uh, uh, calculation so 7f minus 1 4 plus 1 it would become 6b plus 1 that would be 6c and if you convert into decimal it become 108 and these means uh, this means uh, 108 bytes are stored for are reserved for what user defined interrupts so how many interrupts pointers can be stored it's a very good question and you can answer them easily divided by 4 because every pointer have 4 bytes so it's around 27 bytes right so remember dedicated portion have 5 pointers for internal service routine and reserved portion has 27 pointers so in total how many pointers 32 pointers so you can actually say that this portion dedicated and reserved memory this lower portion right from 0 hex to 7 f hex in total they have 32 pointers okay let's go and move to the next dedicated portion i'm just leaving this open space and we will discuss it okay so what is uh, dedicated portion it starts from triple f four times f zero and it goes to four times f b so uh, can 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 you calculate the maximum number of pointer which can be stored in this portion uh, okay let's discuss pointer is a simple double word okay i have already discussed it it's the same thing total uh, number of pointers it, it is talking about this area uh, zero hacks to seven f hacks right the total pointers were 32 uh, and it is just calculation. Uh, we'll go to this part, right? Okay, journal space, journal use memory. Journal use memory means uh, we can actually use it for anything. Uh, whatever the program we're gonna write, we're gonna make code segment, we're gonna make stake segment, we're gonna make uh, data segment. So all those segments will be available only in space. So you know you you need to know that you need to understand that that is this is the actual space which is available for the user, right? And this is the open space, right? And then we come to the dedicated portion. In dedicated portion, uh, okay, the range is basically eight zero to triple F E F. It's quite easy, and I'm just guessing it. So dedicated portion is f0 to fb and it's basically 12 bytes you can easily can understand 0 to b it's 12 bytes and it's for hardware reset jumps right for example if you press the hardware button right if you press the hardware button then and only then you can actually use it otherwise it won't be acceptable right uh, or it won't be usable right and the other portion which is what fc to ff if you see it is just four bytes and these were reserved at that moment when 86 was in design uh, movement so basically four bytes were reserved for future products if there is any future promotion or any, any future amendment then these four bytes would have been used right but it, it was designed for the time when 86 or 88 which is quite old processor now uh, or you can say the basic processor of Intel microprocessor. Uh, it was designed in that uh, time, right? So now in this topic, what we have learned, we have learned that in one megabyte of memory, we have a, a, again, different classification. First 128 bytes are reserved for interrupt service routine. Out of those first uh, 128, uh, 128, we have 20 bytes are used for what? Internal service routines and then 108 uh, bytes are reserved for uh, user defined then we have an open space which is available for user or programmer in which we create segments right then the dedicated portion it is used just for reset jumps right and we're gonna see in co coming uh, lectures when we cover more advanced topics of 8086 and 8088 microprocessor and then reserve portion which is used for future products or any other amendment which is to be done i hope you have understood the concept of this uh, uh, classification of memory available in 8086 or 8088, right? If you have any confusion, you please pose them in, conf uh, in uh, comment section. Thank you so much for listening. Uh -huh.